Hi, I'm Jordan and I'm a product specialist for Denford Limited and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a fourth axis fixture to set up to manufacture an F1 car. First of all, we're going to pick up a set square and we're just going to double check that the billet itself is perpendicular to the base of the fourth axis. So what you're looking for is that there's no gap between the, the edge of the um, set square and the billet itself. Now we're going to move into the computer and select jog mode with a fourth axis fixture set up in the work offset window. And we're going to use the keypad again and move the, move the axes in X. One way to make this quicker and speed up the process is to close the door. That way the machine moves a lot quicker. We're going to touch on the left, the right hand side, sorry, of the model block. So same as the previous video for setting the work offset, we need to rotate the tool around so we're using the full, full edge of the cutter. Then when you are somewhere near, we need to go back to the computer, which means we can put the incremental mode on and using the piece of paper again, we're gonna touch on to the paper until we can no longer move the paper. Once that operation has been done, we're gonna go back to the computer using the blue button on the x-axis we're going to do 3.175 as this is half the cutter, but this time it is going to be plus, not minus, as we are touching on the right hand side of the fixture. Once that has been done, we're going to activate the jog mode again and take off the single step to continuous mode. Move the cutter away, lift it up. The reason being, we need to go to the other side of the billet to set the Y. So once we are up and above the job, we can close the door to speed up the process again. Wrap it up and move the tool across the other side. When you are somewhere near, you can open the door for safety measures. So we can bring the tool down at the side of the billet, and we're going to be touching on this side. So we're going to start the vernius like this. So I just need to lift the tool up so I've got more space to use the, um, the verniers to measure the spigot. So once we have measured the spigot, we need to read the value that is on the verniers. And we, we need to remember what that, that value is for when we come to set the picture later on. So to put the caliper down and now picking up the keypad, we're going to move the tool back down that we moved up previously so we can set the Y axis. The same again, we need to make sure that the tool is rotated so that the full width of the tool is going to be touching on the side of the bar. And for this operation, we need to make sure we get past halfway down on the spigot. If you come to the window at the side of the machine, which needs to move it across slowly making sure that we don't touch the spigot itself as it is made of aluminium and you could risk breaking the tool. But well, we're then going to go back into the computer and put the three arrows on the incremental movement on the axis. So now we've got the incremental movement on, we're going to go back to the machine and touch on with the paper onto the spigot. So now we've got the paper in, we're going to move it across incremental so remember in the reading that we got the, the spigot measurement which was 25 millimeters we're going to go back across to the y axis press on the blue button and this time it needs to be 3.175 plus half of the spigot which is 12 and a half millimeters which makes it 15.675 in the minus, okay. 
and now that is minus 15.675 in the y-axis. Now we need to activate the job mode again, put it into continuous mode, pick up the keypad and we need to jog the y-axis away before we lift the tool up. So now we've got the keypad, we're going to move back to the tool and move the tool away from the paper and lift the tool up, making sure that we are above this bigger. So now we've lifted the tool up, we're going to go back to the computer and move it across in the Y. We want the Y value there that's currently reading minus 18 to read 0, as we want it on the centre of this bigger. So once we are there, we just want to put it into incremental mode to fine tune it to get as close as possible. So with it being at 0 now, we want to put it back into incremental mode, come back to the machine and get it somewhere near above the spigot. Once you are happy and at a comfortable place, we need to move back to the com computer to put it into step mode again on the job. And then we are back to the machine again to touch on with the paper. Once it has grabbed the paper, we are back to the machine to set the Z. We are going to use the blue button next to the Z as the centre line for the job is the centre of the spigot. We need that to be 12.5 and plus. Okay, now the, big, the figure is reading 12.5. We have now completed the setup for the fourth axis fixture to, to manufacture an F1 car. So we just need to put it back into jog and just make sure we are well clear of the spigot so that when we come to create a program the tool is clear of the, of the billet itself. You are now ready to run the jig program to make sure that the offset is set correct. The next step is to load the 4 axis jig alignment program and the, the link for this can be found below in the video description. Once we have done this we need to be in auto, stop, rewind, play. Now over to the machine and the picture is... Now over to the machine as it is going to run the program. So now the alignment program is finished, we can open the door and go into the machine. We need the vernier that we used before to measure this figure, and we're going to measure the distance that the gap has left. From this value that we've just measured, we need to half it. So now we need to go back to the computer back into the work offset and half the value of the step. Doing this, 
we've got the calculator to hand and we're putting this y minus 94.973 into the calculator. And we need to half it by the figure shown on the vernier, which is 0.64, and half of that is 0 0.32. So we need to minus 0 0.32. And that is now the figure that we need to input into our y value. So 95.293. So now we're going to go into MDI and we're going to input x minus 10. Once we've done that, we are going to close the door on the machine and run that part. So we're going to do stop, rewind, play. So what that has done is that has moved the machine to the end of that last jig fixture. So we're going to go back into our work offsets and on the X, we're going to press this button at the top which should shift that by 10 millimeters. The reason we have done that is so that we can retest the jig fixture. So we are now going to close the window and offset some tool lens, go back into auto, and we're going to press stop, rewind, play. So now the program is finished again, we can go into the machine to check that the step has been removed. And as you can see, the step is no longer there like seen before. Now, because we moved the X minus 10 to, to run the second program, we need to reset the X again. So back to the computer, we need to go into the work offsets menu and then into jog using the keypad again and the piece of paper we need to move across to touch on the right hand side of the billet again once you are somewhere near and comfortable you can open the door to reduce the speed and then like before we need to make sure we rotate the tool so we're using the full width of the cutter When we are somewhere near again, we need to go back to the computer to activate the incremental mode with the three arrows. Back to the machine with the paper. We are just moving the, the tool in slightly until we grab the paper again. Now we've grabbed the paper and cannot move it. We are back to the computer and in the work offset menu, we are touching on the side, on the blue on the X, 3.175 plus as we are on the right hand side of the billet. Okay. And now the offset has been reset. So we can close the offsets and tools window, meaning that the F1 4 axis fixture to manufacture a four, uh, an F1 car is now complete and ready to run. So now we're gonna go into jog and back to the machine to move the tool away. So we're just going to move it away in X. Then we're going to close the door to allow us to move it a lot quicker. And we're just going to move it out of the way. And 
now that fixture is ready and set and ready to roll.